one of the first things that we need to do as human beings is understand our environment. That gives us both safety, and with safety and calm, then we can learn more. You know, you don't get to see miracles that often. They do happen. Here, I've watched miracles. Children come here with severe delays in all developmental areas, but especially in cognition and in language. And that's one of the ways that they're gonna get the other needs that they have, is by understanding their environment and interacting with it. Within a very short period of time, they not only are responding to the environment, they know they're safe, they know they're loved. And that's not happening in the short speech. There are so many things about this program. One of them is the staff. They're so child-oriented. Whatever the kids need, we bend over backwards to get. They truly know these kids. They know their families, they know their needs, and they're fully involved. That's really fun. It's on multiple occasions that the families are seeing all of us, the teachers, the family workers, the directors, and I think just being around, being familiar, building relationships with everyone, it just, over time, builds trust because they see that we're being genuine and we're here to help their children and their families be the best they can be. All of these kids have had trauma in their short little time on this planet and we're really doing our best to buoy them up as best as we can and make sure that they're ready. Learning how to name and regulate their feelings, um, being able to ask for help, being able to solve social problems with peers, being able to make friends. Simple things like being able to take turns and wait sit in a group and listen to a story. These are all skills that kindergarten teachers need kids to have before they go off to school and are often more important than the basic academic stuff. My youngest one now is he's going, um, he's going high five next year, but he's ready. They, they said even his English was not a second language. They prepare him so he knows everything. He was more than my other two older ones didn't come here. But the two younger ones, they know everything. Our families will feel isolated because they can't communicate a lot. But having someone come to your house speaking your language, making you feel comfortable, which is really my goal, I think goes a long way in establishing that rapport. They know there's a place they can go where they are respected, where they are valued, where they are empowered to stand up for themselves and empowered to be better parents. And, manage their family and their home in a way that they want to and the way that makes sense for them. Usually a lot of our families are referrals from other families who have had such good experiences with us. So they'll come and say, I want that. I want that for my child. I want him to be able to learn. I want him to be able to be prepared for kindergarten. There was no way I could take her out of here. They were so kind, so patient with her, so gentle with her, yet teaching her and educating her in so many different ways. Yeah, especially like with the disability, they said that the problems that, that she would have and stuff, she has like overcome a lot of the problems that, they, that we've seen her do, like in like since she's been here. You know, it's just way greater than the disability of what they say she had. One of my favorite parts of my job is being able to advocate for people who otherwise would go unnoticed, unserved, wouldn't be able to like pursue what they want to in their lives. And that's that gives me a lot of hope for the future.